So as you can probably tell, it's another clear night here. And last night was a bit of a, a bad night for astrophotography because basically I set, I set up my, te on my telescope. This, this telescope was all ready for a night of astrophotography. I was even filming. And the sky was crystal clear. I set everything up and I was actually getting pinpoint sharp stars with five minute exposure, five minute exposures using my guiding. Everything was working good and then I looked in, in the forecast and it looked like there was just this one area of rain that was expected to come over my area and it was just like this little tiny patch of rain. So I'm like, I'm just going to stay outside and watch everything because I didn't want to bring everything in or just pack it up. I was getting beautiful exposures and then I feel rain and I'm like, there's one cloud in the sky and it was right over this my yard and I just start feeling rain it's like... And I was like, how can this be happening? So I basically, that, that night was done. And I'll show a, a little a couple clips of that night. Oh no. Looks like Windows doing a little update. Not a lot of stuff went well. But hopefully, tonight seems like it's clear and it should be clear most of the night. The moon's not going to be out as much as it was. So hopefully tonight we'll get some nice exposures on. So the target... So I haven't told you yet, is going to be Bode's Galaxy, so M81. And hopefully I'll be able to image tonight and maybe tomorrow. I want to get two full nights of imaging on it. And if I image for the whole night, I should be able to get six hours each night, which would be plenty of data com to complete a final image of Bode's Galaxy, especially since the focal length is so, um, so big. It'll be so zoomed in, you know. So what do you think? The sun's over there. We got a crystal clear sky. Do you think it's too? I think it's too early for me to start take that cover off and setting up. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do that soon because it doesn't. As I do set up more often, it doesn't take me that long to set up this this rig. It only takes like maybe 15 minutes to get all the cables and everything situated. But I think in a couple minutes I'm gonna go start taking some of this Astro gear part. Also something to note that if you have the Telegismos 365 cover, it really works well. Because so far I've left this out, this system out for like probably a week now under that cover. And it keeps it, we've had some really hard rain and some good winds and it keeps it everything perfect like it booze in the garage. So I, I love it because when, when you, like this is my week off from school so when I have my week off basically I can just leave it out here so I don't need to keep logging in and out of the garage every clear night it saves a lot of time and also my energy and makes makes it easier to do astrophotography um, especially when you just everything's here and it's also already polar aligned so all you need to do is do the star line pretty nice so everything's now set up and configured and it was really simple just took me not very little amount of time so now I just need to wait for this that Sun to go down and we should be able to start photographing Bode's galaxy and the nice thing about that is it's nice and high up in the sky right when it gets dark so no no time to wait and we can start photographing right now I have a little bit of downtime so I guess I'm gonna go eat dinner and then we can go from there So it's a lot later now and sun's gone down, it's almost that time to 
get my setup star aligned because it's already polar aligned. Everything's set up. Um, it's nice to have everything set up already because now I can just kind of relax and wait for it to get dark. So now that it's all star aligned, we can start our process. But I did a three star alignment tonight because I really wanted to get that pointing accuracy extra great. And tonight probably will be the last night that I'm using um, the ST4 cable. Hopefully, next clear night I'll be moving on to pulse guiding, which will be which will be fun, which is also recommended. Let's see here. Camera's on. Yep. Pointed towards our target. Everything's good. I'm going to be using on camera tonight. But. Great. Looks like we're dead center. That is kind of weird. I did a three star alignment and our galaxy is right over there. Last night I only did a two star and the galaxy was dead center. I, I don't know. So I recalibrated the guiding and now it's a little worse than it was for whatever reason, but th I mean, that's kind of weird that after I did three star alignment, the galaxy is not centered, but I was able to pretty easily center it with the hand controller. And now we're working on our first five minute exposure, I'm taking five minute exposures tonight. Um, yes, yeah, so we got a plan. I don't think I'll get this many, but I put a hundred in just because. And um, this is just, this was just a test exposure, but... The first five minute exposure should be coming in pretty soon. And we can see how that looks. Okay. There we go. There's our first five minute exposure. And it looks pretty good. So I think I'm going to end the video now. Here's our exposures They're looking really good. But um, I want to thank you guys as as always for watching this video and feel free to subscribe to this channel because I would really appreciate it so um thank you again for hanging out with me for another night hopefully I have a great hopefully I have a great image to share for you and hopefully your time was worth watching my video and hopefully I have a great image to share for you so until next time everyone clear sky